Well, Tevin Washington's uh, home career closed here last Saturday with an 18-point victory over Duke, and now the regular season comes to a close on Saturday with Georgia Tech and Georgia and Athens. Uh, now that it's happened and kind of all the stuff subsided, what was last Saturday like? Was it different because it was senior day and all those things? Yeah, it was real different. I mean, it was really exciting, too. To go out there and uh, play your last game at Bobby Dodd, I mean, it was uh, bittersweet yeah. in a lot of ways. I mean, but uh, now that it's all over with, just got the game to look back on. Mm. So, I mean, going forward, I mean, I'm just proud to be able to come to Georgia Tech and play four years of football. Yeah, it, it kind of an interesting way for it because you guys are on the uptick here in the last month of the season. Um, what's changed about this team? What, what, where did it change? I mean, because a lot of people were kind of cashing out on you guys after Middle Tennessee State. A lot of people were not happy after BYU, but you guys weren't going to settle for that. I think it's just been a lot more camaraderie, a mm -hmm. lot of uh, more togetherness. I mean, when you get put in that situation where everybody's talking down on you, talking bad about you, I mean, it's easy to go in the tank, but I think guys uh, used it as a way to grow close together as a team, mm. use it more to, you know, come together. And uh, I feel like that's what's been helping us get through some of these close games and get some wins there down the stretch. You know, for, for somebody like yourself who's a senior, I guess the finality of it kind of kicks in too, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, you want to go out uh, on a positive note. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's kind of like just with a mindset of play with some desperation. Yeah. I think uh, the team's been doing that too, coming out playing with desperation and playing like just like you're desperate every every snap in and snap out. Um, let me ask you about a couple of things from last week. Now he's put together a handful of games. What's Robbie got our secret? What's the deal? I just think uh, I think Robbie uh, sees the moment. He's the type of guy that. Uh, take advantage of his opportunity. And when he gets a chance to make a play, he that's what he does. I mean, it's evident in past ball games and even just looking at him in um, practice. I've been here with, I guess, three out of my four years with Ben Robbie, so I've always known what kind of ability he had out there on the practice field. But now that everybody else gets a chance to see him out there in games, I mean, I think he's uh, opening up some eyes. What do you call that play when you threw the ball to Bino? <laughs> 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 What's that play called? I guess it's called uh, the great hands played by Bino. Because, uh, I mean, he did. He made a great play on the football. and. Uh, but Bino, Tev? Bino. I, mean, I looked at Bino. Bino. He looked, I looked at it on YouTube earlier. I see he got almost 10,000 views. So, I mean, <laughs> Bino has made a name for himself pretty, but, pretty quick. But of all the guys? I mean, it was unimaginable. I mean, when I saw it happen, I was like, did Where is he happen? going? Yeah, right? <laughs> I was at, I, when he caught the ball, I was like, go get the first down. I mean, we need it. It was nobody else there, so I mean, I was like, he going to get the first down. But to his credit, now he he told me after the game, and I think I guess you guys knew, he missed, he blew the assignment. He didn't he, get out. Yeah, he gets the benefit of the missed assignment that was his fault, right? And he, yeah, he made up for it in a great way, though. <laughs> <laughs> he missed his assignment and made a play on the football. So I guess, uh, I guess Coach Johnson was happy about that. Yeah. When you think about Saturday's ball game, you've played in these now. I mean, is it different? Because I, I, I sometimes think the fans and alumni have it cooked up one way and players have to get to it in a different way, mm -hmm. mentally, right? Is that fair? Yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, it's always going to be the biggest game of the year. Sure. That's for one And that's time, what you sure. want to be in though, right? Yeah, that's your rivalry, art rivalry. It's going to be the biggest game of the year. I think it's just different from a – point of how we got to where we are now and how they got to where they are at this point in the season. And I feel like uh, guys are going to be up for the game. Mm -hmm. That's not going to be a, a question. It's just a matter of uh, execution. We got to go out there and execute and take care of, uh, take care of business. Um, what are you proudest of this year? Um, I feel like uh, just uh, the way the season has turned out is just something that, uh, I mean, nobody I think could dream of this in the off season or even before the season started. I guess uh, just being in adverse situations and being able to prevail, coming mm -hmm. uh, forward, moving forward, um, even when times have been tough, just being able to be at a stay at pace and keep moving forward no matter um, how bad things have got. It's kind of interesting to, uh, to, to watch your career evolve and develop a little bit following Josh and knowing that, you know, Josh came in behind with Coach Johnson and the new offense, and you came in like on the front end of that. 
did Josh say anything to you at some point after he left or after he was out for the rest of the year that, that now all of a sudden you go, oh, yeah? I mean, because you both are different kind of leaders. Did anybody, did quarterbacks, when they hand it off, say anything to say, okay, and now all of a sudden you go, now I know what he was talking about or that kind of thing? Uh, I think really one of the biggest things that probably helped me has probably been this just stretch of uh, adversity. And mm-hmm. even, I mean, from last season, just told me, I mean, you know, when things get bad and things are going good, you know, you got to stay the same all the time. Don't get too high. Don't get mm-hmm. too low on yourself. Because if you let other things affect you, then your body language is going to show in everything you do. You always got to be the same no matter how good things are going or how bad things are going. Um, it's pretty interesting. You know, we talked to Jamal this week. We're talking about Wetumpka. You told me you played everything, huh? Everything. Football? Basketball? Baseball. Baseball? What position in baseball? I played outfield. Outfield? Were you good? I was pretty good. I was decent. Decent. I was better uh, junior varsity days than in, in my varsity okay. days. In baseball? Yeah. But football was always it, right? Football. I mean, yeah, football was always been it. But basketball? Basketball, I was decent. Decent? Decent. All Metro, you know. All Metro. All Metro decent? All Metro decent. Could you have played basketball? Your dad played basketball, right? Yeah, I don't know about it. I probably, he played at Faulkner, right? He played at Faulkner. I wouldn't have been playing in a Division One level just from simple fact that uh, my skill set wasn't as groomed to be a Division One basketball player. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm sure. Your decent wasn't that high? No, nah, it wasn't that high. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure I could have got a, I mean, went to a junior college or to a small school for mm-hmm. basketball, if, if need be. Yeah? Yeah. I think I would have pushed. I think you did okay. Yeah. Um, what do you want to do when the season's over? Because you, you're ready to go, right? Yeah. This is it. I mean, uh, I, I still, uh, I'm not totally um, sure what I'm going to do when the season's over yet. I'm kind of still. Is there a chance you want to try and play somewhere at the next level? I'm not, I'm not sold on it yet, but I'm not um, shutting it off yet either. But you got your degree. Got my degree. You've done some extra stuff. Yeah. You've had, what, great professional experiences here, right? Yeah, internships and um, just networking, being a part of uh, Georgia Tech. That's awesome. Thanks, Tev. Appreciate it. You're welcome. That's Tevin Washington. Tech in Georgia is Saturday at noon.